Let's look at our position for effective faith. Number one, by faith, not sight. 2 Corinthians 5, 6, 7, and 8. Therefore we are always confident, knowing that while we are at home in the body, we are absent from the Lord. For we walk by faith, not by sight. Confidence. Confidence in faith. The rest of faith. Well-pleasing unto God. Confident. Confident. That we can walk with God and know God. And He knows us and loves us walking by faith. Our position also is one in Ephesians chapter 1 verse 18. Ephesians chapter 1 verse 18. In your workbook, it's in the Amplified here. Let's read that. By having the eyes of our heart flooded with light, so that we can know and understand the hope to which He has called us, and how rich is His glorious inheritance in us. His set-apart ones. And so, that you can know and understand what is the immeasurable, unlimited, and surpassing greatness of His power in and for us who believe, as demonstrated in the working of His mighty power. Let's go to the King James. Turn over to Ephesians chapter 1 and look at these great promises. These are the Word of God. This is so good. Verse 17. That the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give to you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of Him. The eyes of your understanding being enlightened that you may know what is the hope of His calling, what are the riches of the glory of His inheritance in the saints. What is the exceeding greatness of His power toward us who believe? According to the working of His mighty power, which he worked in Christ when he raised him from the dead and seated him in his right hand in the heavenly realms, far above all principality, power, might, dominion, not only in this age, but also in that which is to come. And he put all things under his feet and gave him to be head over all things to the church, which is his body, the fullness of him who fills all in all. And you, go on to two, And you he made alive who were dead in trespasses and sins, in which you once walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, and the spirit now who works in the sons of disobedience, among whom also we all once conducted ourselves in the lust of our flesh, fulfilling the desires of the flesh and of the mind, and where and were by nature children of wrath, just as the others. But God, who is rich in mercy... Because of his great love wherewith he loved us, even when we were dead in trespasses, made us alive together with Christ. By grace we have been saved and raised us up together and made us sit together in heavenly places in Christ. That in the ages to come, he will show unto us the exceeding riches of his grace in his kingdom and his kindness toward us in Christ Jesus. For by grace... You have been saved through faith. Not of ourselves. It is a gift of God. Let's go over to the book of Romans. Look in chapter 10 here just real quick down in verse 6. Let's begin with verse 6, Romans 10. The righteousness of faith, the righteousness of faith speaks in this way. Don't say in your heart who will ascend into heaven. That is to bring Christ down from above. Or... Who will descend into the uh, depth, into the abyss, that is to bring Christ up from the dead. But what does it say? It says, the word is near you, even in your mouth and in your heart. That is the word of faith which we preach. Faith speaking the word. And the word going forth with faith. Verse 9, that if you confess with your mouth, the Lord Jesus, and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For with the heart one believes to righteousness, and with the mouth one's confession is made to salvation. Now, when we get involved in the operating with faith and working with faith and getting faith to go with us, see, faith has to work through our mouths. We believe in our heart, we confess with our mouth. What did it say in Mark eleven twenty three? 
that whatsoever thing you should ask, believing that you shall receive, doubting not, whatever you should confess, it said, whatever you should speak in 24, whatever you should say, and doubting not, believing that whatsoever you should say will come to pass, you will have whatever you say. Here again, faith works through us. It is His faith. And it will work through us. We believe in our heart, confess with our mouths, God is true to His word. 